Hello students today i am going to discuss about a very important topic of the gravitation chapter and it is very essential for our daily life also that is known as thrust and pressure so in this topic we will come to know about how the thrust work how we are applying pressure on something and how the pressure is exerted by us so let's see the video So as you are seeing what is thrust the topic thrust you have seen what is thrust the force applied on a surface in a direction perpendicular to the surface as you can see in the picture if you are applying any force perpendicular to the direction of the surface that is known as thrust if the force applied on a surface in perpendicular to the, to the surface that the unit of thrust is newton if you are applying any force perpendicular to the direction of direction of surface then it is known as thrust so i hope you have understood what is thrust now see what is pressure the effect of thrust per unit area is called pressure the effect of thrust per unit area how much thrust will be applied to per unit area that is known as pressure the pressure equal to thrust per unit area unit of pressure is pascal 1 pascal equal to 1 newton per meter square 1 newton per meter square pressure so i hope you have understood what is thrust and what is pressure pressure depends on two factors number 1 force that is thrust more force more pressure so pressure is directly proportional to what force if you are applying more force if you, you can see in the pictures if you are applying more force see when the lady was standing with two legs she was applying some force she was applying some force over a large surface but when she was standing with one leg see the surface area see you can see in the arrow the area was less the area became less on her one leg the all the pressure are exerted in one leg that means the surface area became less then the pressure will be what more that area more a area more area less pressure if the area is more then pressure will be less in the first picture you can see area is more then pressure will be less but in the second case the pressure in the second case you can see the area be became less then pressure will be more you can see in this picture also as i have shown you see if you put your hand on pins then what will happen the your hand will just get some holes the pins will get inside and you will get hurt but if you keep one or two pins and ab above the pin if you keep a cardboard and you keep your hand then what will happen you have increased the area and the pin is applying some force on the on the board but you are applying some force on the board and the pin is in the opposite direction of the board and the area became more so the pressure will be less the same force produces less pressure if it act on a large area but can produce less pressure if acts on a small area so if area is less then pressure will be more if area is more then pressure will be less and if force is more pressure will be more now everyday observation as we can see in our daily life school bags with wide straps so the weight of the bag for may fall over a large area of the shoulder of the student producing less pressure on shoulder as you can see some of your friends have thin strips of school bags and some you have broad broad strips school bags if you wear the thin one with same amount of book inside then you will feel more pressure more weight you will feel but if you will take a bag which has broad strips then you will feel less pressure because the surface area is increasing if the surface area is increasing then pressure will be less now sharp knife cut better than a blunt knife so the force of our hand over a very small area of the object produce large large pressure if you take a blunt knife then what will happen in the in the front side of the knife the area will become more because the it is blunt the area is more but if it is sharp then it will be a fine sharp line is there that is the knife will become very sharp and that will give a small area with that small area you will apply the same force what, what you are applying on the blunt knife then the area if the if the area will be less then the pressure will be more and it will cut very nicely now the tractors have broad tires so there is a less pressure on ground and do not sinking to comparatively soft 
field as you can see the tractors have big big tires whereas small vehicles other cars you will see they have a small small tires which get inside the soft field but the tractors tire doesn't get inside the soft field because the area is more or the because the tire is big so the area is more if the tire is big then area is more and area is more than less pressure if less pressure then the tractor will not get in so i hope you have understood till this much now you can see you can see some of your friends who are wearing heels you can see it it is easier to walk on soft sand if we have flat shoes rather than shoes with sharp heels if if a lady wearing sharp heels having sharp sharp that heel and a shoe which have flat shoes you can see in the picture i have shown both of you by wearing which one you can walk on the mud you can walk on soft sand you can walk with the help of this shoe flat shoe but you cannot wear this one you cannot wear this one in walking in soft sand why because here you can see the pressure is exerted in one heel but here you see it is exerted in the entire leg so you can walk very nicely with the help of this one but you cannot walk nicely with the help of heels now the foundation of buildings and dams are laid on a large area to produce less pressure you can see the buildings for example Burj Khalifa you will take then you will see the buildings downside is too much big downside is broad but the upper side is pointed downside is broad why because it is a huge building that huge building doesn't fall, should not fall down and should not get inside the sand that's why they have given a large area which will increase the which will increase the surface area if it will increase the surface area then the pressure will be less you can see on bridges also the uh, the pillars of the foundations of buildings or the bridges you can see in picture i have shown you the pillars downside is too much big why because they are increasing the surface area which will decrease the which will de which will decrease the pressure and then it can stay very nicely now the wood or concrete slippers are kept below the rail line as you can see the slippers i have shown on the picture the slippers why this wooden or concrete slippers are kept why you cannot keep the rail track directly on on the sand or on stones because if you will keep this one it will hold the track and it will increase the surface area which will increase which will increase the which will increase the pressure on the land and it will hold the land very nicely and if it will increase the surface area then the pressure will be more and pressure will be more than it will hold very nicely on the sand a wide belt is provided over the wheel of an army tank why the army tanks tires are not given of that nylon tires why they are given of big chain because that big chain will increase the surface area and it can go in any condition it can go on soft sand also it can go on hard sand also it can go through the mud also so i hope you have understood the wooden concrete this wooden concrete as you are seeing this wooden concrete or the concrete uh, wooden rail slippers or concrete slippers they are given to increase the surface area if the surface area will be more then pressure will be more and it will hold very nicely and these tracks will not get inside the sand so i hope you have understood till this much and if you have understood every each and everything what i have discussed till now then do these questions what has come in front of you in the screen and show me within a very short time